So Jennifer, welcome. Um, let me, I'll do a quick introduction and then let you, uh, let you take it and introduce yourself. So Jennifer is, I was just on Jennifer's podcast. What's the name of the podcast, Jennifer? The Child Free Biz Cafe. Child Free Biz Cafe. And uh, it was really fun. The episode just went live this week. So everyone can check that out. It's on YouTube and uh, we'll put, we'll put Spotify below. And, and what? And Spotify. And Spotify. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, so Jennifer is a, a coach that helps people, um, entrepreneurs and creators with productivity, with work-life balance, with time management, with systems, like all of this really cool stuff. Um, so let me turn it over to you, Jennifer. Like, tell us, what does that mean? What does that even mean? And we're going to talk about how it's spiritual in just a moment. <laughs> yeah. So I approach productivity very differently from a lot of the gurus. Um, I mean, sure, a lot of stuff is familiar and overlaps and things like that, but I have a different take on a lot of different things as well. So I don't believe in hustle. I believe in structure with a lot of flexibility, um, taking into account that we are not robots. We are humans and our energy fluctuates throughout the day. And, and depending on what's going on in our lives and creating work-life balance. I mean, which is never 50-50, right. it's whatever it is that particular day. One day you could be working more, another day you could be working less. It's just going, as my dad likes to say, going with the flow. Yeah. This is my version of going with the flow. Cool. Well, this, how did you get into this? So I actually was not good at this originally. Um, in 2011, okay, so my first career was in the coffee industry, barista, managed shops, and then owned and operated a couple of my own drive throughs Well, all my life I had used a paper planner, and I thought I was organized. Well, apparently that's not enough. <laughs> and, uh, which I will tell in a lot of my, my content, like, a planner's not going to get your shit together, right. <laughs> basically. And there's a lot more to it. But ultimately, um, I was trying to get out of an abusive relationship and I decluttered like 80% of my stuff. And since I didn't have my own vehicle at the time, I had to use his for everything. So I had to get permission for everything. Wow. And, but there were a lot, a lot of uh, stay at home moms on my cul de sac who, or work from home and have little kids. So I would go over there and help them organize their businesses and their home offices. And it turned out it was surprisingly therapeutic and they thought I was very helpful. So when my lease went up on the drive through, uh, I was like, okay, this is my time to move back to my hometown, start back over. And I had this new career I could start with and I had to learn to get organized while I had the coffee drive throughs too, because I owned operated and then I had one employee. So I had to do a lot of inventory planning, admin planning, marketing planning. I did everything. Yeah. So I definitely had to get organized real quick. And then just over, over the years, I tried to figure out who I wanted to work with and I just always wanted child free or childless as my main audience. And it's just been so much more enjoyable and I've been able to meet so much more people that way. So, yeah. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. And so I was, um, I was attracted to Jennifer's podcast because I'm also child free and y'all, I, I can um, see some of the comments coming, although my group is lovely. So I actually, I get really <laughs> wonderful supportive comments in, in this group, but this goes out on YouTube, et cetera. We like children. This is not the <laughs> issue, right? We both have lots of nieces and, or I have tons of nieces and nephews, great nieces and nephews. Like I lost count. Uh, I think there's like 20 of them total now. And I know you have a beloved um, nibbling too. Niece, um, yeah. Yeah, these needs that came up. But yeah, this is a very, very particular and underserved um, population. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we were talking about is that like productivity organization, like getting getting your systems in place as a creator, as an entrepreneur, is really, really good for your mental health. 
Um, and so tell us some of the ways, like, why is this important? It's not only about getting stuff done and it's not about trying to cram more hours in the day. Yeah. Um, it's about something else. Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, like just the mental fatigue of trying to remember everything, uh, like finding, just getting ideas, notes, tasks you need to do. It's about getting it out of your head and then just brain dumping it for now, but brain dumping it in a space where it's easy to search so you can actually go back and find it. Yeah. Yeah. And then better organize everything better later. So having like regular brain dumps and things like that. And then learning to prioritize, okay, what's actually an emergency? What's not? What am I procrastinating on? And then when you actually see everything and get it out of your head, it's kind of like, okay, I actually, my brain is not going crazy right now. I can actually focus a little better. Right. And that's, and so the, yeah, so it gets greater focus. And I just, I know when I am in that space, I like feel my shoulders drop and I just have like a sigh of relief Mm -hmm. Uh, because the worst place to store things is actually your head. Um, They're not designed. I think, I think I've read that the human brain can really only focus on two or three things at the most. And so when you you have oodles of little tasks and big projects and things to do that, you know, we just can't kind of comprehend and we can't really cope. Yeah. Our like, <laughs> yeah, our brain is not a hard drive. Right. It doesn't yeah. hold everything. <laughs> it is more like a single memory stick. It has a limit on what it can hold. And then we need to back it up. Somewhere right. safe. <laughs> yes. Okay. That we can go back to easily. That makes sense. And, you know, when I first start working with entrepreneurs, when you're first getting started, you're just in the idea phase. And it's amazing. I'll encourage people. um, You really start making your Asana list, start making your to-do list, start Mm -hmm. figuring out the system that's going to work for you. And then people don't do it because they don't need it right at the beginning. And then all of a sudden they've forgotten the the bill or the whatever, or the the schedules, like all of that. Right. It it all matters. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's all how we communicate effectively with, um, you know, with our, with our people. Um, so one of the things I, I thought would be interesting to talk about, too, is how I actually believe this is really inherently spiritual, um, good systems and getting everything in place. It's a really important part of our spiritual life. And I talked to a lot of people who were like, oh, no, it'll just like come to me as an act of divine grace. Y'all, God helped us create planners and systems and, <laughs> and computers. Um, let's use them, right? There's great people like Jennifer who know how to put all of this in order, who so use people like this, who know what they're doing. Um, some people are naturally gifted with the organization. I am not actually one of them. I'm not one of them, right? I have to like really, really work at that and really stay on top of it um, as well. But that, this the spiritual part to me is better mental health, um, absolutely. Um, and better service because you're better able to serve your people and we get to rest Mm. and joy creativity rest is part of our it's like part of the spiritual bill of rights yes and there's there are a lot of spiritual culture that promotes the hustle 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 which is like not not of the spirit it's not of the spirit there's times when it's appropriate to really hustle make it through but There's really times when it's good just to rest and just to be and enjoy creation. Uh, And so I'm kind of curious if that's in the undercurrent of what you do. I know I know the work you do isn't like explicitly spiritual, but just kind of curious if that's been a good side effect for some of the people you've worked with. Absolutely. Yeah. All of that is what I try to help my clients with. Yeah. Yeah. It's especially with um, now they've got chronic illness, too. I knew. Like we had different energy levels throughout the day, but I didn't realize how much it affected my focus, my brain fog, like motivation or anything. So I realized when I actually let my body rest when it needed it and my brain rest, like your body's able to recoup, kind of like recharge. And then you're actually able to get a lot more done when you are able to focus than you would if you're trying to just push through when in 
reality, you really need to just let your brain and body rest. Yeah. And that's, and you also, this is um, a really important, I think, part of just what we do in the metaphysical Christian and all, all the work that I do is um, helping us find joy and delight in life. Like our souls are created also for, um, for joy. Yes, we go through challenging times. Yes, we have illness, um, like Jennifer was saying, chronic illness. And we're also made to find joy. And so organization, productivity, all of that is, is one way that we can help contribute to that. Um, in our journey. So that's awesome. Um, so Jennifer, I know, so the podcast, we're going to post a link and um, like, where can people find you? I know you have a free gift. Can you talk to us just a little bit about that? Yeah. yeah. So I'm mainly on YouTube and Instagram as productively child free. Uh, I will have a disclaimer that there is some cursing. <laughs> we're, we're mostly pretty good about that. Okay. Right here. So they're just for I always feel like I have to do that just in case. That's, that's reasonable. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I, and one of the things about being child free also is just really being in your authentic self and well, and, I mean, everyone being their authentic self and whatever choice they decide to make with or without kids. And so I, I try to go deeper on different topics and yep, there's that brain fog kicking in <laughs> that's okay <laughs> um, cool well, but yeah about, yeah tell us about the free gift for yes. sure yes so i made a checklist and i'm particular about checklists about how many to make what to use things like that so it's a shorter checklist and it's for daily income income generating tasks. So if you don't know what you need to be working on, if you're just doing busy work and it's not moving you forward, just refer back to the list. And one of the things on the list is actually to find a hobby or something to do outside of your business where you don't actually make money from it. That is golden. What is that for you? Uh, gaming <laughs> going nice. up the for, mountain uh for yeah. me it's, def it's definitely music playing playing my harp. Yeah. yeah i can definitely see that yeah yeah, yeah. so we'll put a, a link below for that awesome yeah and people can find you on youtube find you on instagram i'll make sure i post all those links um so this is awesome y'all go watch uh jennifer's and listen to jennifer's podcast especially the most recent episode where I'm on. Yeah, well, I've had another one since you already. Oh, well, the last two most recent episodes. Yes. No. Uh, no, all the episodes are great. So, so listen to them all. So thanks so much for being here, Jennifer. This is fantastic. Thank you for having me. Yeah.